Today we show you 3 different ways how you can create a collision for the Unreal Engine 4. So let's start with the first one. Therefore you need any 3D modeling program that you like, for example 3ds Maya, 3ds Max or Blender. In my case I will use Blender now. So just open up the program and create your model. Now in Blender or in 3ds Maya or in any other program there are two ways how you can do that. Either you create convex hulls, that's pretty bad for the performance but you get a good collision out of it. And of course just cubes, that's pretty good for the performance but not so good collision. So I will show you both ways now. So let's start with the first one with the cube. For that just go to add, mesh and then add a cube. Now place it right to the mesh, like this here, and scale it up a little bit. Now adjust the vertices and fit it a little bit to the mesh. So I will add some vertices. Of course you can do a better one but I will keep it simple for now. Just want to show it how it works. And here we could also add some. And this one here. Okay, now let's leave it like that. Okay, now you have to rename it like that. So just do a right click onto it, rename, and then type in ucx underscore and then the name of your mesh. In my case, test. And now just export it. File, export, go to the SkiffPix, picks, and export. Then import it. So go to import, desktop, or run, untitled it, and okay and just add it to your level. And now as you can see, oops, sorry. Now as you can see here, we collide with the object. So that's the first way in Blender how you do it. That's pretty performance saving, but of course the collision isn't so good, as you can see in here. Just a pretty simple one. Okay, now I'll show you the second way. So we delete that now. And then I will create a copy of my mesh. So click onto it, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and now we have copied. Now go into the edit mode, select everything, click onto tab, or sorry, onto space, and then type in convex hull. And then click onto convex hull. As you can see here now, it has created us a convex hull. Now go into the optic mode, go to modifiers, add modifier, and then add a decimate modifier. Because now we want to decrease the number of vertices so that we get a better performance. So as you can see here now, we have 147 vertices. Now we decrease that to, let's say, 0.3, 62 vertices, say 0.1, then we just have 25 vertices. And in my opinion, that's pretty good now. Now you also have to rename this, so right click onto it, rename, UCX underscore, and of course the name of your mesh, test. And now export it. Then I will import it again. Yes, yes. And now we have a better collision. As you can see in here. Much more complex one. Okay, that are the ways how you do it in a 3D modeling program. Now I'll show you the other two ways in the Unreal Engine 4. So we'll just go to collision and remove this now. Okay, so the first way is to just go to the collision tab and add any type of collision you like. For example, the 26 stop collision, as you can see here, it looks pretty good for that mesh. Or also auto convex collision, like here. With that type of collision, so the auto convex collision, you can create pretty good collisions, but of, co but of course the performance won't be so good with that type. So for example, when I increase that to the max, you get a good collision as before with the convex hull, but it isn't so good in performance. Let's try it out. Play from here. Ah. Oh my god. Um, play from here. Now you can see, we also collide with the mesh. So that's another way how you can add a collision. Now let's come to the third way. Therefore I will also remove the collision now. Then you have to type in, at the search bar, you have to type in call, so for collision. 
And then you can see this module, Collision Complexity. Then click onto the default, and now choose Use Complex Collision as Simple. Now try it out. As you can see here, we also collide with the mesh. And with that way, you can create pretty good collisions. So that's a pretty good way for, for houses and much more complex meshes. So I would do it for just complex man, because the performance isn't so good with that way. But yeah, you get a pretty good collision with just some few clicks. So just use it for houses and buildings and pretty big stuff, and not just for small meshes like this one here. So yeah, that are the three types how you can create a collision in Unreal Engine 4. And yeah, thank you and until next time.